Hello everybody. I hope this finds you well. I'm entitling this video A Look Into the Mind of a Crazy Old Hillbilly. And uh may not make sense to some of you. Some of you may get a good laugh out of it. But uh there is a purpose behind it. You don't have to understand it. Just enjoy it. Now science is always thinking inside the box. Because all they got is the box to work with. Now you get going with things. You wonder sometimes. You know, we know seasons go in cycles. Oh, I do. Things seem to go in cycles if there is a straight line through it. You know, uh, Einstein once said, light is constant. People believe. But if speed of light is constant, how do they know this? How do you measure the speed of light? funny that isn't it it's like trying to relate God to something physical something material how can a spirit of something be physical or material that's just silly what if the speed of light and time were the same thing, then the speed of light itself would then be relative, wouldn't it? Now, that would explain much about physics, about the molecule, why Einstein couldn't get a unified theory, why it appears that some particles just pop out of time space and pop into time and space somewhere else because our perspective of that light we're not seeing through a fast enough lens you know it could be moving through that space we just can't tell it and detect it just doing it too fast doing it in a different time wave Time wave. Gravity bends light. It also bends time. We already know time is relative to the speed you're moving. How fast is everything moving? Right now, you know. How fast are the cells in your body moving? The atoms, the electrons orbiting those atoms. How fast are they moving? You know, the, they say you can't tell where that particle is and how fast that particle is going at the same time. You can only tell one or the other. But if you take into account time and light being relative to time, and the speed of light being different, creating different time elements, and different spheres of influence, being the microscopic, even below the microscopic, atomic, not be seen, only its effects. The atom smashers, you know, they strip away the electrons, smash the atoms to see what little bits come off of it. You ever tried smashing an electron into another electron? Is it possible? Is it? What is an electron really? Just a little bundle of energy? 
Or is it more than just a little bundle of energy? Weird. People seem to... People don't seem to realize how small the atom really is. Take your basic crystal. Zoom in really, really close. I mean, really, really close. Yeah. Closer you get, the more the structure changes appearance. You get so close that you're seeing the molecule, the lattice work, the molecules themselves. You get even further complex molecules find out in their organized pattern linking together and you get closer and you see you see the various atoms how they're linked together the radiating connections and you still haven't got to the atom yet past the electric bonds that hold the atoms together. Once you come to that point, you break through the outer shells of that atom through its electron field and you find nothing but a vast empty void until you come to its center. There's this tiny little thing there middle of that atom vibrating, moving. So small we can't see it. We don't really know what's going on inside this thing. All we know about it's all we really know about it is what we find out from smashing it open, seeing what bits fly off, weighing it, measuring it as best we can with these instruments they have now. But they really don't know why it does what it does yet it's that it does what it does when they do what they do to it now is that really the way to do science or is that just being a brutish caveman pounding away at things trying to figure them out by how it breaks really the boson. Maybe the boson's really something for bozos. Maybe they would be better off hitting it with a bat. At least you can feel the bat. You know where it hits. over a four-leaf clover I overlooked before I think next time I'll talk about the spear properties. Peace, love, and understanding. I'll be with you all. Have a good evening.